theorem on 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees triangle. We already have studied the Pythagorean triplets like 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, etc. Have you noticed a peculiar thing in these two sets? The ratio of the lengths of the sides in these two sets is 3 is to 4 is to 5. That means the triplets thus given give us the ratio of the sides. So recognizing a special type of right angled triangle will help us to get some answers quickly. There are two such special right angled triangles. The first is 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees triangle and the second 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees triangle. The particular measure of acute angles in these triangles determines the ratio of the lengths of the sides in them. Let us learn more about these triangles. Theorem Here's the theorem which gives the relation among the side of triangle whose measure of angles are 30, 60 and 90 degrees. If the angles of a triangle are 30 degree, 60 degree and 90 degrees, then the side opposite to 30 degrees is half of the hypotenuse and the side opposite to 60 degrees is root 3 upon 2 times the hypotenuse. So, we have triangle CAB in which angle A is 90 degrees, angle B is 60 degrees and angle C is equal to 30 degrees. We have to prove that AB is equal to half BC and AC is equal to root 3 upon 2 times BC. Let us do a construction here. Take a point D on ray BA such that AB is equal to AD. Join points C and D. Proof Consider triangle CDB. In this triangle, AB is equal to AD by construction. Therefore, we can say that A is the midpoint of segment DB. Also, it is given that angle CAB is equal to 90 degrees. That is, segment AC is perpendicular to segment DB. That means, segment AC is the perpendicular bisector of segment DB. That is, by the theorem of perpendicular bisector, point C is equidistant from points B and D. Therefore, BC is equal to DC. Now, in triangle DCB, Angle BDC and angle DBC are the angles opposite to the congruent sides BC and DC and hence they are congruent. That is, their measures are equal. But it is given that angle DBC is equal to 60 degrees. Therefore, angle BDC is equal to 60 degrees and the remaining angle of triangle DCB which is angle DCB is also 60 degrees. Therefore, triangle DCB is an equilateral triangle since each angle is 60 degrees. That means sides DC, CB and BD are equal. But by construction, we have AB equal to half BD and we have proved that BD is equal to BC. So, we can say that AB is equal to half BC. Now, in right angled triangle CAB, by Pythagoras theorem, AC squared plus AB squared is equal to BC squared. Substituting AB by half BC, we get AC squared plus half BC, the bracket squared, is equal to BC squared. By solving, we get AC squared plus 1 upon 4 BC squared is equal to BC squared. 
on simplifying we get ac squared is equal to 3 upon 4 bc squared taking square root of both the sides we arrive at the conclusion ac is equal to root 3 upon 2 bc thus we have proved ab is equal to half bc and ac is equal to root 3 upon 2 times bc hence the theorem is proved with the help of one example we will see how this theorem can be used to solve the given problem in triangle rst angle s is equal to 90 degrees angle t is equal to 30 degrees and rt is equal to 12 we have to find rs and st let us solve this problem in triangle rst it is given that angle s is 90 degrees and angle t is 30 degrees so the remaining angle r will be equal to 60 degrees so triangle rst is 30 60 90 degree triangle therefore the side opposite to 30 degree that is rs is half rt which is 1 upon 2 into 12 equals to 6 and the side opposite to 60 degree which is st is equal to root 3 upon 2 times rt is equal to root 3 upon 2 into 12 so st is equal to 6 root 3 thus we get rs is equal to 6 and st is equal to 6 root 3 theorem converse of 30 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees triangle now we will discuss the converse of 30 60 90 degree triangle theorem it states that in a right angled triangle if the length of one side is root 3 upon 2 times the hypotenuse then the measure of the angle opposite to that side is 60 degrees so it is given that in triangle ABC, angle B is 90 degrees and BC is equal to root 3 upon 2 times AC, which is the hypotenuse of the right angled triangle ABC. We have to prove that angle opposite to side BC, that is angle A, is equal to 60 degrees. Now, we will see the proof. Since angle B is 90 degrees, triangle ABC is a right angled triangle. So, by Pythagoras theorem, AC squared is equal to AB squared plus BC squared. It is given that BC is equal to root 3 upon 2 times AC. Substituting this value, we get AC squared is equal to AB squared plus root 3 upon 2 AC the bracket squared. By solving, we get AB is equal to half AC. From this, we can conclude that angle C, which is opposite to AB, is 30 degrees. Therefore, angle A, which is the remaining angle of triangle ABC, is equal to 60 degrees. Hence, in a right-angled triangle, if the length of one side is root 3 upon 2 times the hypotenuse, then the measure of the angle opposite to that side is 60 degrees. Let us now try to apply this converse of 30, 60 and 90 degree triangle to the example given here and see that if the given triangle is 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. Example If the sides of a triangle measure 18 centimeters, 18 root 3 centimeters, and 36 centimeters, then show that it is a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. We have already studied 30, 60, 90 degrees triangle theorem 
and its converse. By converse of 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees triangle theorem, the angle opposite to the side, which is half times the hypotenuse, is 30 degrees, and the angle opposite to the side, which is square root 3 upon 2 times the hypotenuse, is 60 degrees. The theorem gives us the ratio of the sides of the triangle. The ratio of the sides in a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle is 1 is to root 3 is to 2, where the sides are in the ascending order of their lengths. Conversely, if the ratio of the sides is 1 is to root 3 is to 2, then the given triangle will be a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. So first, we will find out the ratio of the sides of the given triangle, which is 18 to 18 root 3 to 36. That comes to be 1 is to root 3 is to 2. Therefore, by converse of 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees triangle theorem, it is a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. Theorem 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees triangle. Here is another special right angled triangle in which the angles are 45, 45, and 90 degrees. The theorem states that if the angles of the triangle are 45, 45, and 90 degrees, then each of the perpendicular sides is 1 upon root 2 times the hypotenuse. So, in triangle ABC, angle A is equal to angle C is equal to 45 degrees and angle B is equal to 90 degrees. We have to prove that each of the perpendicular sides, that is AB and BC, is equal to 1 upon root 2 times the hypotenuse AC. In triangle ABC, it is given that Angle A is equal to angle C is equal to 45 degrees. The sides opposite to congruent angles are congruent. Therefore, AB is equal to BC. Now, in triangle ABC by Pythagoras theorem, AC squared is equal to AB squared plus BC squared, which is equal to AB squared plus AB squared as AB is equal to BC. Therefore, AC squared is equal to 2AB squared. Therefore, AB squared is equal to 1 upon 2AC squared. By taking square roots of both the sides, we get AB is equal to 1 upon root 2 times AC. Hence, if the angles of a triangle are 45, 45, 90 degrees, then each of the perpendicular sides is 1 upon root 2 times the hypotenuse. We will see one illustration now. Example Find the perimeter of an isosceles right angled triangle with each of its congruent sides measuring 7 cm. Solution let the isosceles triangle be PQR in which angle Q is 90 degrees, sides PQ and QR are the congruent sides and PR the hypotenuse. We know that PQ is equal to QR is equal to 7 cm. Therefore, the base angles of isosceles triangle angle P and angle R are equal. The sum of the angles of triangle is 180 degrees. Hence, angle P plus angle Q plus angle R is 180 degrees. After substituting angle Q equal to 90 and solving, we get angle P is equal to 45 degrees and angle R is equal to 45 degrees. So, triangle PQR is 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees triangle. Therefore, by theorem of 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, PQ equal to QR 
is equal to 1 upon root 2 times PR. Therefore, 1 upon root 2 into PR is equal to 7, since PQ is equal to QR is equal to 7. Therefore, PR is equal to 7 root 2. We have to find the perimeter of this triangle. So, perimeter of triangle PQR is the sum of all the three sides, that is, PQ plus QR plus PR. Substituting the values, we get the perimeter is equal to 14 plus 7 root 2, which also can be written as 7 into bracket 2 plus root 2 centimeter. We will try to solve one more problem. In the figure shown here, quadrilateral PQRV is a trapezium in which segment PQ is parallel to segment VR. SR is equal to 4 and PQ is equal to 6. Find VR. Solution Observe the figure carefully. In triangle QSR, angle Q is equal to 45 degrees and angle QSR is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, the remaining angle R is equal to 45 degrees. Thus, triangle QSR is 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. QS and SR being the sides opposite to congruent angles are congruent. Therefore, QS is equal to SR is equal to 4. Now, consider quadrilateral PTSQ. Since PQ is parallel to VR, an angle T and angle S both are right angles, quadrilateral PTSQ is a rectangle. Therefore, the pairs of opposite sides are equal. That is, PQ is equal to TS and PT is equal to QS. Therefore, TS is equal to 6 and QS is equal to 4. In triangle PVT, angle T is 90 degree, angle VPT is 60 degree. Hence, the remaining angle PVT is equal to 30 degrees. Thus, triangle PVT is a 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree triangle. Therefore, the sides PT opposite to 30 degrees is half the hypotenuse PV. So, PV is equal to 8 and the side VT which is opposite to angle 60 degree is root 3 upon 2 times the hypotenuse. Thus, Vt is equal to 4 root 3. As points T and S lie between the points V and R, Vr is equal to Vt plus Ts plus Sr. We have seen Vt is equal to 4 root 3, Ts is equal to 6 and Sr is equal to 4. Therefore, Vr is equal to 4 root 3 plus 6 plus 4 which is equal to 10 plus 4 square root 3. Thus, Vr is equal to 10 plus 4 root 3. 